Matt Schlapp with the American conservative, uh, chairman of the American Conservative Union joins us now. Matt, Democrats are openly opposing several of Trump's uh, cabinet nominations. Uh, Rex Tillerson for Secretary of State, uh, Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions for uh, Attorney General. What do you think is nominations are most at risk and could they any possibly lose to Republican support? Well, it's important as we go into these confirmation battles to know that any conceivable Trump nominee they can knock back, they will. I think the one exception which is interesting to that is the nominee to head the Department of Defense, General Mattis. Uh, although he has to get a waiver to serve because he's been uh, only a few years out of the military, out of wearing the uniform in the military, uh, I think a lot of Democrats actually like the fact that Donald Trump will have at his right hand a man that's so experienced in military matters. But they're going to knock back absolutely every potential nominee they can. Well, you know, we've been following this whole campaign to try to get some of these Republican electors not to vote for Donald Trump. Um, do you see this as really as just a first push, if you will, for a campaign to try to delegitimize Donald De Trump's presidency? Definitely. We've never seen anything like this. Even the year 2000 with the recount in Florida, where we experienced things we hadn't seen before in modern uh, politics. But this effort to try to get the electors to be briefed about a supposed Russian hacking of emails and the, and, and the desire by the Clinton campaign to get them to not vote the will of the people from their state is something I've never seen, and it's very close to just sour grapes and being a sore loser. What grade would you give Trump when it comes to Catholic issues at this point in his transition team? I don't think we know yet. Um, you know, he's made great picks. The actual people he's picked to run these cabinet agencies are really, it's an A-plus crowd. But you don't know until the policy undergirds it. So for all people who care about Catholic issues, um, it's important to stay engaged in the process and to make sure that we make every impact we possibly can. Because as an administration gets filled out with people um, and gets awfully busy with, uh, with emergencies of the day and, and what government uh, keeps them busy doing, we've got to stay on them on the, on the issues themselves. I think the most important thing for Catholic voters still to come, who is that nominee for the Supreme Court opening? And, you know, speaking of that, Trump uh, Chief of Staff, Ryan uh, Priebus, says Trump's Supreme Court nomination could be made as close as soon as the inauguration. Do you think that will happen, and what do you think the significance of the timing would be? Uh, I think he's going to name it soon, mm -hmm. um, and I think that would be great timing. And this will be the, the fight that will, uh, that will really set the tone of the Trump administration. Once again, the Democrats will do all they can to try to knock out this first name, to try to weaken uh, the selection for the second name, get someone who's a little more, uh, less secure on the issues that we care about, those constitutional safeguards like religious freedom and life and those important issues. And uh, so they're going to they're gonna take on this nominee uh, head first, and we all got to be prepared for it. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting next month and, of course, interesting first 100 days in office. Matt Schlapp with Chairman of the American Conservative Union, thanks so much for being with Great us. Great to be with you again.